We're in Unit 2 now of the GED Math Book, and we're going to be talking about the customary U.S. system. This is Lesson 14a. So did you know out of 195 countries in the world, only three don't use the metric system? The United States, the Republic of Liberia, and that was established in 1822 by the American Colonization Society. So it's got ties to the U.S., and Myanmar, which used to be called Burma, but they're on the verge of going metric. They've been doing this since 2013, so it could be very soon that the United States could be the only non-metric system in the world. In 1975, the U.S. government passed the Metric Conversion Act, making the metric system the preferred system for trade and exchange of goods on a large scale, you know, for commerce. Now foods and other goods have the metric equivalent weights listed on their packaging. The metric system is primarily used in science, medicine, engineering, and the military. Now, there's other countries that still have unofficial units of measurements of their own from before everyone went metric. And they use metric as their main one. So Japan, France, Sweden, India, China, England, and there's many more that have these unofficial units of measurements that they use, but the major one they use is metric. Okay, and we're going to be getting into that soon. So there's a chart of the U.S. customary system on page 164. And my advice is start getting to know this thing by heart. It's very important to know these conversions before taking the GED math test. There will not be a copy of this chart on the test. The only place you're going to find this chart on the test is in your brain. And there will be problems with units of measure that need to be converted before you can solve them. How many feet are in three miles? Well, if you know by heart that there's 5,280 feet in one mile, you can multiply that by three to find for three miles. I have this funny joke I say for the grade school level kids. If your nose was 12 inches long, it would be a foot. 12 inches is one foot. So... Here's another problem. Bob got a $2,000 loan for 24 monthly payments of 6% interest. Well, 12 months equals one year. So now you can use the formula for interest, principal rate and time, to find the amount of interest on his loan because this T, this time, is in years, not months. So it'd be very important to know that 12 months is a year, okay? But that's kind of an easy one. Dave mixed eight quarts of blue paint to four quarts of red paint to make purple paint. How many gallons of purple paint did he make? Well, knowing there's four quarts in a gallon, it's asking how many gallons he made. It gave us quarts, but it wants to know gallons. So knowing there's four quarts in a gallon is going to help you answer this question. Eight plus four is 12. 12 divided by four, because there's four quarts in a gallon, means there's three gallons of purple paint. See? It's going to help knowing these conversions by heart. Tala has three pieces of wood that are each eight feet long. Here's one, here's one, and here's one. They're each eight feet long. How many one yard long pieces can she cut? So there's two one yard long pieces per eight foot length. So that's two, four, six pieces. Each eight foot length will have an unusable two feet. See? See? One yard is three feet, so these are unusable. Okay? Knowing three feet is one yard is going to help you. Lisa needs two pounds of flour to bake bread. She has 30 ounces. Does she have enough? Well, knowing 16 ounces equals one pound will help us. One pound is 16 ounces, so two pounds is 32 ounces. The answer is no. She only has 30. She doesn't have enough. See? It's really important for you to know these. Okay. There are two bags of flour. One bag contains 40 ounces and the other bag contains 48 ounces. What is the total volume of the flour? Now look, the answer is in pounds and it gave us ounces. So knowing that 16 ounces is a pound is going to help us because we can add the 40 plus the 48 and get an 88. We could divide it by the 16 ounces in a pound and find out that the answer is number two. It's 5.5 pounds. See? That conversion chart is not going to be on the test. You need to know it. 
You need to memorize this chart of customary measures. Now, there's probably only six or seven that you need to memorize, and you probably know the rest. Most people know that there's 12 inches and a foot, or there's three feet in a yard, so you don't need to worry about these. How many feet are in a mile? You might need to know that. How many yards are in a mile? You might need to remember that, too. You might need to remember these if you don't already. And you might need to remember these. Most people know there's 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, 7 days a week. And there's 52 weeks in a year. So there's really only a handful that you probably don't know. So even though it looks like there's a lot to memorize in this chart, there's probably only 6 or 7 that you really need to memorize. Okay? So we're going to cover the metric system in video 14D. That's going to be coming up. We're at 14A now. Our next video is converting U.S. customary measurements. That's lesson 14B. We're going to be converting them to each other. So we're going to be converting inches to yards and miles and stuff like that. We're not going to be converting them back and forth to metric. We're converting U.S. customary measurements to each other. Okay? There's going to be links to all these helpful videos where I have grade school level videos that teach about the U.S. customary system. Okay? All right. So we're going to move on and we're going to do the next video before you worry about the skill focus. Okay? So let's do lesson 14B and then you can do the skill focus. And if you want, you can start memorizing this chart. All right? Whatever you have to do, writing it in your spiral someplace where it's real obvious. Okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.